Namaste everyone, Ram here, the DNA Hacker. Uh, today, I want to give you a special treat. I've been working on a book, I've been keeping it kind of on the down low, uh, just to, I guess, to uh, protect the information. Uh, but I said, you know what, somebody asked me today uh, to cover this topic and I wanted to uh, share with you, I'll just put some ideas back in, I'll run you through this. The goal of today is to teach you what DNA hacking is. And I think it's going to be extremely life-changing and it will hopefully transform your perspective on how you should view your genetics and how you should view your body and how you can actually transform your health in ways that maybe you are not aware of. So I got asked this question uh, today about DNA hacking. I said, you know what, let me just go into it for the benefit of the audience, whoever's following. I suggest if you're watching this video, if you're not gonna be committed to watching the entire video, just don't watch it anymore. It is extremely important that you watch the entirety of it because I will go into details that are very important and you'll miss out on very key important things. Watching a few minutes here or there is not gonna resolve anything. This is the same reason why anybody that tells you, yes, I can give you a few sessions, it's gonna transform your life, or a weekend, that none of that works. You actually have to be committed to life-changing transformation or you're not. You're not going to achieve long-term success because there's no magic bullet out. There's no magic pill. It only comes through one way. I have mastered the art of living and healing not through half-assing my way through things, not through trying to find the shortcuts, but through actually doing it the old-fashioned way, the way that builds the right base and will take you to freedom and open the doors to this magical realm that is unbeknownst to you there and you're choosing to live a reduced version hunkered down in your body what you think you are and missing out on the opportunity of a lifetime to explore this universe in ways that are unknown to you to enjoy health that is permanent and long-lasting and in my opinion, in my experience, eternal, unchanging. You can live 100% stress and disease free. And I'm gonna begin showing you how that is. I did a previous video, I suggest you watch it, another lecture where I go into details about how to maintain balance away from the extremes. And I posted a blog on my website that I call Detox 101. It's an excellent read. I suggest you check it out. It goes into some of the things that I'll mention here, but here I'm going into details as to what DNA hacking is. So follow here. So what I've drawn here, let's ignore. We're gonna focus just on this little corner here. Here over here, I have my cell membrane, this little structure right here, depicting like a little a cell. I have my DNA here. I didn't do the nucleus just to not make it more busy. And in your DNA, you've always had this concept that you inherited some strings of DNA from your parents, your mom and dad, half and half, and that that somewhat predetermines your destiny. That you will, if your parents had a history of something, that you will likely how struggle with that whether it's some chronic ailment or mental health or something of that sort however i'm here to tell you that's not the case this is not a unique finding of mine this is this is known people have done studies for example with twins and found identical dna leads to completely different circumstances so a lot of people have focused on the environment on what's called epigenetics where experiences can actually tangibly change your dna in ways that i'll get into shortly what I think is adding another element here that's new is what I call gene harmonics. How does consciousness play a role in this process? And how can you take conscious control over this? And of course, this lecture will not show you how to do that because there is no lecture that can show you how to do it. You actually have to put it into practice. You have to learn the techniques. And to do that, you will have to uh, work with, uh, find a way to work with me and join one of my coaching programs so that I can teach you how to do that. Otherwise, 
uh, there is no recipe out there. There's nothing out there that's gonna teach you that because I have not seen anybody that can resoundly say that they live stress and disease free. And I'm not here lying, inventing stuff. This is a reality that anybody can achieve. I have dedicated the last two decades to do this with zeal, with a pursuit and a perseverance unrivaled. And I know it's possible and I came from exactly the same place as you. I wasn't uh, healthy all the time. I wasn't stress-free. I lost my dad at a young age and had to grow up very quickly. Made a ton of mistakes when I was an adult. Got in wrong relationships. Was in jobs that I didn't like until eventually I started to do the changes and create the future that I wanted. I dreamt big, I reached far, and I decided to act, execute, plan, and then act on my plan and my vision. But before I could do that, I had to remove all the obstacles, and there's a lot of obstacles that keep us limited. Health and stress is one of those biggest obstacles. Mental health is crucial, and your physical health as well. If your body's not whole and healed, what do you expect to accomplish? So there is something called the spectrum of consciousness. This is not a new term, I did not coin this term. Ken Wilber, very famous philosopher and writer, he uh, coined this term in a book called The Spectrum of Consciousness. Prior to me ever reading this book, uh, I was writing a book that's gonna be coming out called The Voyage from Human to God, where uh, I elaborate on aspects of mastering yoga, mastering spiritual evolution, and reaching the state of God consciousness and how to manifest that in the here and now. <clears throat> and you may envision yourself as an embodied entity with a body, with a brain, with senses, and you've attached and identified yourself to this reduced version of yourself. But those who practice certain uh, advanced techniques of meditation and these so-called um, contemplative traditions like Buddhism and yoga has these elements as well, uh, are able to tap into aspects of your consciousness that are not just limited to body awareness. Where you can actually transcend your body and experience dimensions of consciousness that go beyond this one. So in, in reality, you are a non-physical entity that gives rise to the world and form. And a number of disciplines have shown this, continue to show this to be true. Quantum physics, modern physics is one of them. And of course, yogis have talked about this for, for a very long time, and now it's being verified by science. And of course, uh, me coming from a science background as a neuroscientist with a PhD I'm from one of the top universities in the United States, I have a very strong background in how this operates at an internal level. How is this manifesting genetically, so molecular genetics. So I was very interested in molecular psychiatry, for example, pharmacology, cognitive enhancement, how does stress impact your nervous system, your genes, so on and so forth. And how does this connect to yoga? So now, uh, as a non-physical entity impacting our DNA, we project onto our body vibration. This is vibrating. Everything around you vibrates, even though you don't notice it. Everything resonates at a certain frequency. And me, as a non-physical entity, I give rise to this. This is the gross manifestation of the mind. The mind is a product of a higher level of consciousness, something that is formless and timeless and immortal. That you can call it spirit, Godhead, God, whatever you would want to call it, the true self. But there is something about you that is not physical and I teach people how to do this, and there's been yogis in the past that have done this as well, and other masters that have done this. That's the topic of the voice from human to God. So projecting onto all your cells, onto your DNA is your consciousness. If that consciousness is of a high quality, if it's pure, if it's already established at a very high level, it projects onto your DNA a different way. The analogy that I use to help people understand how you cross the bridge from consciousness to the strings of DNA and from the DNA from your gene to your messenger RNA 
which is a uh, kind of you can think of it as a copy of the gene and of course you have many genes that will produce many mRNAs and this messenger RNA will then leave and will produce proteins since you have many genes producing many mRNAs producing many proteins this is called the proteome the combination of all the proteins that you have the tools of your cells what leads to your phenotype what you see your physical traits your biochemistry so on and so forth another interesting aspect that some people aren't aware of it they're not in like the science arena is that every gene can actually make many different versions of mRNA of messenger RNA meaning that from one gene you make many you can make many different versions of these and many different proteins from the same gene some proteins work obviously will work differently than others some work better than others so even though two twins can have the same exact DNA one of them can have a proteome let's wait until this gigantic airplane goes by these are the caveats of living near an airport and so uh, one twin can have a proteome let's say over here number one a proteome that because of its uh, habits mindset behavior diet other factors breathing con how, how, how much control over the mind they have there's obviously other tactics that I teach uh, that I write down here that you can see right there uh, specific concentration exercises specific energy exercises that um, there is a discipline of yoga that goes into this energy aspects called Kundalini yoga however most people uh, do not know how to apply Kundalini yoga to actually do this to actually awaken higher levels of, of, of the nervous system higher levels of your subtle of your what I call the chakras or your energy centers to activate higher abilities and open other dimensions of life so one twin because of all their background their environment their different experiences their mindset habits behavior diet etc activates a proteome that is a disease proteome what does that mean they both both twins have the same DNA one will produce this profile here that I'll describe in a sec the other one describes produce activates this uh, one that's labeled number two right here that I'll describe shortly so even though two individuals have the same DNA they do not use the DNA the same way they are not projecting onto the body and causing these genes to produce the right protein expression the right gene expression for either health or disease they're producing one or the other the uh, the way that this works that'll help you understand it is two ways imagine that I am with a maestro in music and I may have used this analogy in other circumstances maybe in another video uh, I'm a maestro there's an instrument right in front of us I have no experience in music or very little the maestro does who will who will take the strings of the instrument as another airplane goes by the strings of the instrument and get the best harmony the best melody the maestro are you a master or are you a novice do you want to be a master and a sage of life or do you want to be a novice that is my gift to people that is what I can do to awaken people and awaken this process so that you can switch from a proteome that causes chronic disease even everyday uh, diseases as cold and flus oxidative stress inflammation a weakened microbiome the microorganisms that are in your digestive system the ones that coat your skin that are extremely important for health that form a large proportion of the entire DNA that you possess we are abusing this microbiome on a day-to-day -day basis and of course neurochemical and hormonal imbalance amongst other things it's not that all of this gets triggered all at once but this is progressively happening 
And because, mainly, large part because of diet, we are actively doing this all the time. We are actively weakening our microbiome, inducing inflammation by the foods we eat, um, weakening our immune system sometimes by over-exercising or exercising the wrong way, eating the wrong foods, causing a more oxidative stress, which is uh, a reactivity of chemicals with oxygen generating toxic substances that damage your DNA amongst other things. Apparently this is uh, a busy time of day. Uh, another airplane. Uh, chronic disease. You can actually break free from all of this. Of course, other mental aspects lead to neurochemical and hormonal imbalances that can affect your digestive system as well. For example, causing constipation or irritable bowel, um, stuff like that, causing uh, psychosomatic disorders. All of these can be controlled by you. Promise you that, guarantee you that, that that is possible. I am a living proof of that. I teach that and I can teach that to you if you're committed to learning this. If you're committed to working with me, I will commit to teaching you how to activate, not a program of disease and mental imbalance and emotional imbalance, but one of option two, where your proteome now increases detox genes. For example, the expression of specific genes involved in uh, producing proteins that are important for breaking down toxic substances, decreasing mutation rate that leads to cancer, um, decreasing inflammation, decreasing, uh, in, improving mental health by enhancing your brain. So there's an area in psychiatry now that's really growing called nutritional psychiatry. So some doctors will not really implement certain treatment programs if the person, if they don't correct the nutrition, because if you're already out of balance, how is medication really going to help? And in fact, I can also promise you and guarantee you that if you take the necessary steps, you could break completely from medicine. I have seen it with other people that I've worked with. They have been taking medications for their mental health, let's say, or for their chronic disease. And over time, over the course of weeks and months, if they follow step by step, they actually can slowly wean themselves off and break free and no longer have to live dependent on a medical system that is designed to cater disease and not to teach people how to become free of it, to live completely healthy and vibrant. So another way that you can understand this without the music analogy, so consciousness, you can imagine it as projecting this kind of harmonic influence over the strings of your DNA and causing specific genes to get activated, some more, some less, some turned off and some turn on. And of course, persistent mindset, habit, behavior, diet, what it does is through your proteome feeds back onto your DNA and through processes called methylation, uh, histones, uh, transcription factors, other proteins, they serve to regulate and control your genome, the combination of all your genes in a specific way, turning on some genes, turning on some that should not be on, for example, cancer, uh, turning on genes that should be on during development where there should be a lot of active cell division, but not later in life where you don't want cells to be dividing necessarily. So once this is engaged, it feeds back to your DNA and will lock you in that state. So you can be locked in a state of imbalance, in a state of inflammation, in a state of disease, so on and so forth, of stress through this process. And ultimately, what does it trigger it? It is not triggered by the exterior, it is triggered by you, the conscious spirit that is imprinting on matter that process of disease. And of course, if you're coming from a, a very strong scientific materialistic background, this won't make sense to you that much 
because you will ignore and reject the subtle aspects of yourself that you're not aware of yet. But I promise you that if you were to dedicate time, you will be able to experience that and experience aspects of yourself that lie dormant. And then of course, you could do the opposite. Instead of locking a disease program, you actually lock in and activate a proteome that will be decreasing inflammation, inducing balance and harmony, inducing mental peace and clarity, inducing that sattvic state that I talked about in the previous chapter, mental health, vibrancy, you're detoxified, you're feeling pure, you can remain centered and balanced and therefore immune to disease. You, you fall victim to sickness and disease because you are in a state already of sickness and disease. That I'm going to repeat again. Why are you sick? Why did you get sick? Because you already are in that state. And even though you may have bouts and periods where you don't feel sick, you may feel better, the disease is already underlying. It's already in your consciousness. I tell students and my clients all the time, the concept of disease does not reside in me anymore. I do not worry about stress and disease. I am free from it 100%. Not occasionally, not more often than not, all the time. And I experience the transition through that period over the course of years, and eventually I broke free completely. And I can teach you that but you have to be committed to investing in yourself, to working in the here and now to make it happen. Nobody out there will make it happen for you. You have to do the work. The goal here is not for you to be dependent on me, it's for me to give you the tools for you to be independent and be able to do it yourself and shine the way that you're meant to shine, to live in the here and now expressing who you really are which is not the body, which is not your job, which is not a relationship you have or ideas you have, none of that. All of those other things will be magnified. Who you are can be present more and can empower every one of your acts. I suggest you follow, continue to follow this. I will be doing another shorter video where I will go into a few more details as to how this relates to yourselves to nature and how you are having this pattern of decreased energy as you age and as the day progresses when you can actually have increased energy instead. I hope that served you well. My name is Ram. Again, please like, subscribe, comment below. If you comment, I can serve you specifically. If you don't comment, you watch a video then I don't know what your needs are and your questions are. If something did not make sense, maybe I wasn't clear or it does, didn't resonate with you at, at the first hand, I'll do another video and I'll clarify that. This is a community effort. I'm here to serve and I'm here to give you what you need. Namaste. Love you.